Hello everybody, this is a video how to replace a rear strut for a 2005 Honda Element. Most likely it's going to be also for 2003 to 2011. I already removed the wheel to speed up the process. So first what I'm going to remove is the bolt that goes right here. I'm going to see it from the other way. This is the ball. As in other videos I post, I already removed balls just to make it easy. So it's more kind of an info and you get an idea how to do it, okay? So remove this ball. It's a 17 millimeter. And then I noticed this when I was doing it that it's also a good, good thing to remove this ball from the swiper link connector, which I also replace it. It's pretty easy so you remove this it's gonna give you more clearance when you want to remove the whole strut assembly okay and i highly recommend you to put a floor jack underneath here so you can kind of list the whole spindle up and down that's gonna help a lot when you are removing it and installing it back and I always use a floor jack for safety reasons okay you can use either even two floor yards even better so you remove this you can kind of play with the with the flare jacks up and down so it's easier when you want to remove the connector lens connector lens are pretty easy too it's just two 40 millimeter boards some of them are 70 millimeters so you remove one here and here and the easy way to do like i said again is just up and down the spindle with the flare jack so you remove out of this way here and then you go up you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket, which I have a speedy gun faster. And you have to lift the back seat, and then you're gonna find this access access hole right here. It's covered by a plastic. Please use a plastic like a plastic screwdriver. And there is a hole right here, and you're gonna lift it. Don't use a Every time you, you wear on plastic things, I, it's the best is to use this and no screwdrivers. In this case, you might be able to use a screwdriver since it has a nice hole here. But I always recommend to using the plastic ones when working in plastics, okay? And then you're going to see two 14 millimeter bolts, which I'm going to remove. There we go. Right here is one, put it by the side, two on the plastic. And then we're gonna go under the vehicle again. I think the toughest part will be installing the new strut since I got just a regular strut with with no right here. With, with it's not like a, a complete assembly. But I don't recommend complete assemblies like parts sold in eBay for like two, three hundred dollars for all all struts. They don't last longer. I already had a bad experience with it. So now I'm buying the good stuff. It's a little bit more work, but it's worth it. So I'm gonna put this new KYB. KYB XLG It's the part number 344611 Got it for a good deal for 4 struts for 340 I think it was good I also installed it here But I kind of cleaned the coil I'm gonna make another video also for the front ones It's pretty much the same thing So I'll go back to here We remove the 17 millimeter ball that holds the strut see if you guys can see it from another another way here okay just one ball put it by the side and then you're just gonna play with it and remove it from this side Okay, I'll, I'll get back to the video when I'm 
I'm ready to install the new strut. I'm back with the strut and the tool that you need. This is a strut compressor tool. You can buy this in Harbor Freight or also you can rent it in AutoZone. Any AutoZone they have it for rent. You pay for it. After you return it, you get all your money back. I forgot to, to tell you that what helps a lot when putting this back is that if you mark this one of the two studs on top with the wire up so you know which hole this stud goes and then you mark it with a wire up tool right here you kind of make a line and follow it so I mark it here 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 so when I put the the strut bag is easier to align everything together since I'm reusing the spring on the mount everything looks fine with the mount it looks perfectly fine this is just like clear coat protection but it's good I rather use a good quality strut than a cheap one so we're gonna install it now with this tool. Here it is. I installed already the tool using a 24 millimeter. But well, it depends of the tool. You might use another one. I'm using a gun, so it's easier. If you guys don't have a gun, you gotta go with hand with a with a ratchet, and it's gonna take way longer. But with a gun, it make it easier for me. So I'm gonna compress this. Now if you guys see it is lo it's loose and now I can go with a 40 millimeter here and remove this. I think it was a better idea to remove kind of that one first before removing like compressing this. I think it's gonna be easier but let's see how it goes. It's not too bad. If it this spins then you can always grab an allen key that goes right here. And then you can remove this with a 14 millimeter wrench. Let's see if I have one handy. I'm going to get one and I'll be back. I'm back with the tool and it's easier now. Just put an allen with a small ratchet and remove it. This is the best way to put it to put back the the strut to adjust this ball because this these are uh, very easy to break if you if I do it with the gun or a bigger ratchet so and once you ratchet it all the way in when you put it back you're gonna feel it when when it's like where, where it's supposed to be tight so now it was pretty easy Sometimes though the new struts don't have the allen key, they have another two. So you can always use another kind of sockets, but you can use this this way. So you remove the nut. It's always good to pay attention when remove this. Make sure how this goes back, like this the flat part goes right like this. The nut. We might get a new one here. Let's see. And then it's pretty easy, you just Take out this part, you know, kind of paying attention of what are we doing because sometimes it has like other little parts like this. So, as you see, this one goes first, and this one, so we're gonna put it like this, kind of like in a position, and then this one goes out and remove the strut. This thing is even kind of leaking a little bit. I think the other one was leaking, but I can feel it when driving, it's no good. This may be the original too. I'm not sure about it. Now we're going to install the new one. And you can guide this part of the 
a strut with this so it should align together as you see there you go it's aligned together and then we put back this right here oh here's the new nut which is nice to have a new one always good to to use the new one we press all the way down and then we put this one so this one goes first this one goes through then the the mount the mount mount is seen and that was the reason that I lined it or I marked it with a white line so we can align everything with the line and it's gonna be easier for us we put this one right here on top and the new nut okay so we just tie this again tie it back we release the compressor with the gun it's ready to go now the tool is out of the strut like you see this is a line right here is it's flash and then the light that I the white line that I mark everything aligns with this ball and boom easy very easy to do with the proper tools especially the guy the compressor and then we're just gonna put it back from behind just the way we we took it out and when you putting it up it will be a good idea if somebody helps you to put the the 40 millimeter nuts to hold the strut in place would be a good idea once you put it from there and that's it guys the rest i think is self self-explanatory you guys can do the same process how we started with and i hope this video helped I already put it back it was not too hard and as you see here in the bottle is no the bottom is not there yet but once I I'll put this down it's gonna align so I didn't really need somebody to help me on top I just kind of put it there and hold it for a little bit and then I'm going up grab the, the tool Fourteen millimeters here and nice. I didn't really need the help of somebody to hold it. Once you get one in, and that's it. It's there now. I kind of put it like maybe a few threads in before using the gun so I don't strip the holes and then I slowly go one and then the other one. There we go. I will kind of I will talk that later. This is just to guide it. Always good to talk all bolts for suspension parts. And now we're gonna put this down so we can install this ball. And that's it. One more tip guys to put it back it was hard for me to align this ball so i have to go here where the frame is and there are two balls right there just lose those two balls and then it was way easier to align the ball for the strut in the bottom once you tie this don't forget to put the ball for the swivel link connector and that's it Hope this video helps.
I'm not doing a complete step by step maybe, just part of it, but trying to at least help somebody and get some information how to do this strut replacement. Take care to the next video. The strut install it. Going straight to the alignment machine. Update for the rear driver side strut to remove that you have to remove two 10 millimeter bolts that holds the fuel canister here is the bolts I already removed it you just put that down removing the two bolts and then the strut goes down okay so that's the only difference from the right side take care guys